Well, tonight on this very interactive news segment with me here is none other than Brigadier Kasiyo Gwanga, the man himself on the set. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for coming by. On this special sure. edition where we discuss issues that affect the people. And tonight, General, we are discussing on whether the NRM Liberation Day, which they are celebrating today in Soroti, is worth to be celebrated. As a man who saw it all, tell us, is the day worth to be celebrated? A thousand times worth it. Now, this is the Uganda today we are talking about. I can see people cutting, you know, this, whatever you call them, discs. Yeah. You, the technology. Yeah. We are trying to cope up with this technology trying to use you young ones, you a little bit upbeat on things, and you're being taken for a right by these politicians. But most of them are failures anyway to me. What do you mean by saying that politicians are failures? Of, exactly. Of today? When you are over 50 and you are still dickering around, trying to show that you are doing something to someone so that you get something, you can't find Kasiye Gwanga doing that kind of stuff. So when they come out with statements, Blaming this government, blaming the president, he's, he's done his best. I'm always going to stand by that man, by the way, and I've got my principles. I've known him, I've known him for the last 30, 33 years. I know how he works, he delegates powers, the people where power is delegated are incompetent. You find a minister, he has a permanent secretary, he has commissioners. But it doesn't monitor, it doesn't, because you, you always have an intent. If you appointed the Minister of Works, you've got the technocrats, engineers, young ones. You them, so they're getting paid. This way I'm asking you, hey. what do you have to celebrate when all institutions of governance are dead? Who is killing the, the institution? This, this, this business of saying the president, the president doesn't go into every ministry every morning telling them what to do. He gets the reports, sometimes he doesn't like them, and he steps in. But you people, you have failed completely. You don't know nothing. I don't know why you went to school even. Where is the problem that you have the failed army, to, what has got to the army, the civilians? What has the army got to do with this situation currently now? The army is trying to take care of security. You are going to talk about these shootings around? These are just rivalries and all that. You find people shooting each other, Tell shooting people in Paris, and then you take this one as a very big point. The army, the security people are trying their best. We are celebrating uh -huh. the perfectness of, uh, of security in this country. Security. But look at other sectors. Which sectors now are we talking about? Are we going to go into education? You find these ghost, ghost teachers? Health sector, talk about it. Are you happy Which with sector? it? Which sector? Health sector. Auto? The health sector. Hospitals and what? Okay, you made a mistake some time back, and I talked about it on one of the talk shows. People used to go in those hospitals, you know, with something. They named it a nickname called the Kasawo. Owe Kasawo Mlesotia. The doctors were not really trying to get bribes, but the condition they used to work in. A medical doctor gets 600,000. Uh, yeah, 600,000. But if someone comes and says, Doctor, you know you can't go on, and you say they are taking bribes, the, the, the politicians come out, whoa, 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 whoa. Now, when you look at your hospitals, look at your economy, look at the population, most of the people who are treated there are not even sub budgeted for, for your information. But, but, but Brigadier, sure. you are running away from the question. I'm not running I'm, away, I'm, I'm trying I'm to explain. You, there are no medicine in the hospitals. No medicine, medicine is there, but the population. That hospital was supposed to treat how many people? You don't have money, you claim you have money. You don't have money, you Ugandans, I'm telling you. You are 30 dollar men. Are you aware that every day Uganda loses about 38 women giving birth because of a lack of enough Oh yeah, you go in southern Sudan and you see what's happened. Me, I'm not impressed by those numbers. You're impressed by what? By death? I'm impressed with what we are trying to do, especially you guys. How are you going to, you know, rectify that situation? How much do they allocate to the agricultural sector? Agricultural sector? Peanuts. Okay, I've been in agriculture for the last 27 years. How much do they allocate? I don't know sector? because I don't go to them. 
I use my media resources to take care of myself. And I've worked through. Now I've been checking on those young people we are working together. I give, give him some pigs, give him money to do this. I've been checking them. We've got to take care of ourselves. We are, we are not going to rely on this government. It, it's like in America. Americans don't rely really on government. They do their own stuff. But is that your role to give people pigs? Or is sure. the rest of the government? Me, I fought this war. Me, I, I didn't fight with myself. You fought with who? Me alone, with my people. I trained my army. So, I saw people, people's property being destroyed, for your information. I ate people's, you know, cows. I've got to pay back. I can't wait for the government. So it's like you don't want to hear that, to listen to that shit of President Museven. It's about uh, uh, Kasiyek Gwangalon. No, I like him and I'm going to stick with him. What, what the bone to, to chew here is between you, the civil servants, what exactly you are doing, what you are supposed to do, and how you are doing it. But you have seen them. Every time I hear you talk about, they are stealing our money. They are stealing our money. You mentioned them, but yeah, nothing's the being done. The problem I have with President Museven, mm. this I can always say it clear, put some people in jail. If someone has stolen money, who is he? They are your colleagues who steal money, whom we can that use from crap. the bush. That is crap. You are colleagues. 30 years later, and you talk about colleagues, how many colleagues of mine have died? Do you know that? Most of these young ones, you see, you, you find brigadiers now, new brigadiers. They have passed through the ranks 20 years, 25 years. Those are paper brigadiers. Are not, uh, why, why those you, who have died why, why are those... Why you call uh, them paper brigadiers? The, the they front brigadiers, frontline brigadiers. They have gone to military colleges, recognized all over the world. They have done their courses. They have done some work around East Africa, the central region. But are you not aware of them who are stealing the, this money? Do I have even time? Whoever still with money is going to be caught martial one of these days. There's one they brought back from Somalia. But these are your friends. Them. You know them. Some of them. Don't you give me with that them. friend crap. Me, I don't have friends. I'm Kasiri Gwanga. That is where you people make a mistake. What are we witnessing if you are still also relying on the government coffers? I would be stupid to buy another vehicle. This, this should get in your head. Now I'm driving a vehicle worth about 200 million. Eh? If I get my salary, of about 2.2, eh? and I take that money, I start, you know, how for money for a loan salary. That's what we rely on. They cut it there, I use it on my farm. Let's go back to the corruption issue. Because yeah, corruption has been issue, a the president should handle it properly. It's going to cause him problem. People should go to jail. That is what I can talk about it. Because when you talk about corruption, even yourself, you're corrupt. There's some business you do, and you find yourself, you go to dig someone something. The issue that when it comes to your own, Who's you own? have problems to, to manhandle them. Whose own? Your colleagues you came with from what the bush. colleagues? That's what I'm asking you about. I told you I left the army for five years. I went and worked as a civilian, in civilian. Then I came back. Now I'm doing another job altogether. We've got other different, you know, we do different. I mean, we are not going to you mention names because you, you know them. Subsidiate. You know about the global fund scandal. Global you fund. You had a whole general there. Global fund you have scandal. Had, uh, I told them they should have shot the Mokura. junk helicopter saga. Junk helicopter you had saga. generals there. I know what happened Canals. about that money, and I I proved of Now that the standard gauge rule was seen. The generals. That there. one. That one. Now you are fine. Technical people. Technical people. Civilians. These soldiers you are talking about were trained in China to do manual work. To steal to do what? No, they don't get involved in this contract, whatever. These are just soldiers. They just tell them now you are going to start to work. The materials are here. But this business of getting contracts, whatever, they will get them from Americans, which companies. Do I even know how to make a company? I don't have a company. Talk about the global fund scandal global and the fund, junk helicopter they scandal. The, they stole the money, the junk helicopter scandal. You are always. Happening on that one, it happened about 15 years ago. But this man I'm asking about here. Eh? Mm. Now let's talk about Katosi. Katosi Road. With that money, who, who, who did the contract? What happened? Why don't the IGP, what do you call it? IGG. Mm -hmm. And IGP invest such cases. 
and you see result. Of course, it's failing because of NRM cadres who are involved in it. Who are the NRM cadres? They should not also be investigated because they are also part and parcel of the whole thing. Let's clean it up. Are you aware that every day, uh, every financial year, over 100 billion shillings go missing in the Ministry of Defence? We... No, you can't really know about defence. In fact, I pity you guys. You have really mistreated the people in uniform. Now, I'm asking you, do you know we are not supposed to buy things in the same shop with you? We are not supposed to pay tax, even this VAT thing. Do you know it? Do you know we are not supposed to go to bars with you? And do you know our beers, the factories should produce ours? Because if you buy yours 3,000, mine, I will buy it at 1,200. In a capitalistic economy, you don't expect that. that is and when you came to power, I'm you removed you. the socialistic kind of running this country's economy. You brought the capitalistic economy and you must pay the price. And that's the price that you must pay. Then you, you, you go along with us. We are, working to, we are going to work it together until we get to the end. Thanks for joining me on this very I'm not American tiger. They call, <laughs> The American tiger is called a lobo. A lobo? A lobo. Are you an American leopard? Yeah. yeah. You know, I like the way they, they do their things. They're straightforward, up front. They never hide, hide about. An American, when you look at his woman for more than three minutes, he's going to box your nose. Thanks, bro, for joining me on this special interactive Thanks news for, segment. Yeah. The level of ground where host people of sound mind like you. But Thank you very much. One last thing. People are destroying this country. They are cutting down all the forests. I know you're one of the beneficiaries. You have a huge forest. Yeah, they have cut it down. They are planting mine. I've got one in Mukono. 200 acres. It's mine. I created So, but you work on that one. Now the weather is bad. Food is going to be scarce. And the population is, is exploding. But why don't you address it with your boss? Who's boss? I don't who have time to, for that one. Who wants to cut my forest? I, giving no, it to no, a, no, 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 forget investor. about Mavira. Now we go back to Mavira. Who wants to cut Mavira? I'd already been cut from inside. You used to look at the outside. I know Mavira better than you do.